How do you spell hypocrisy? D N C? Look at this fence. Do you understand that the DNC convention has a four mile, eight foot high fence around it? <laughs> to keep Americans out. That's what's really funny. And they complain about Donald Trump wanting to build a wall to keep foreigners out who are coming in illegally. Anyway, here's Elizabeth Warren, clips from Elizabeth Warren's speech. Where was Donald Trump in all these fights? Not once did he lift a finger to help working people. And why would he? His whole life has been about taking advantage of that rigged system. Time after time, he preyed on working people, people in debt, people who had fallen on hard times. He's conned them, he's defrauded them, and he's ripped them off. Look at his history. Donald Trump said he was excited for the 2008 housing crash that devastated millions of American families because he thought it would help him scoop up more real estate on the cheap. Donald Trump set up a fake university to make money by cheating people and taking their life savings. Donald Trump goes on and on and on about being a successful businessman, but he filed business bankruptcy six times, always to protect his own money and stick the investors and contractors with the bill. Donald Trump hired plumbers and painters and construction workers to do hard labor for his businesses. Then he told them to take only a fraction of what he owed or fight his lawyers in court for years. So what kind of a man acts like this? What kind of a man roots for an economic crash that cost millions of people their jobs, their homes, their life savings? What kind of a man cheats students, cheats investors, cheats workers? Well, I'll tell you what kind of a man a man who must never be president of the United States. Okay, she was very aggressive, she made her points, but I think that anyone with a history in business would know that you really can't rip people off for year after year after year and become a billionaire doing it. It doesn't work that way. And maybe, just maybe, if her dad had been employed by Donald Trump, she wouldn't have grown up in so much poverty because Donald Trump pays his people pretty well. Be right back with Michelle Obama's speech, which really and truly was political genius. Mm -hmm.